Hey there, it's Ivan and you're watching Puzzle Guy channel. Today I'm gonna show you three puzzles. All of them are designed by Dr. Volker Latusek. First puzzle is gonna be a Tower of London. Uh, and the reason why I'm gonna show it to you again, since I already solved it on my channel, is uh, that I've got an email from Dr. Volker Latusek and he said that uh, my solution was not 100% uh, correct. The way I removed the ball is pretty much uh, the same, uh, but the way how to put the ball inside uh, the cube back, it is uh, completely different. So uh, if you want to see how I solve this puzzle, uh, click right here. And uh, now I will show you only the way how to put the ball number six back into the cube. And uh, in my solution, I did it pretty complicated way. Uh, trying to put all the uh, balls in the right position inside the cube, but the actual solution is following you have to put five balls inside four balls on the bottom and ball number five right in the middle and What you have to do is just to put the six ball from the bottom push it up And sometimes the ball number five pops up but actually you have to push it inside and the puzzle is solved. Very easy. So that was uh, about Tower of London. The next puzzle that I'm gonna show you today is guillotine puzzle. This puzzle is also designed by Dr. Volker Latusek. It has difficulty level 10 out of 10. And the object of this puzzle is to pack all 12 parts inside the cube and then close the lid. If you are not able to close the lid, the puzzle is not solved. So you have to put all the parts inside the cube uh, flush so that the lid will be closed. And uh, this puzzle uh, is uh, pretty complicated and I will try to solve it right now. I don't know how much time is it gonna take me to solve it, but we will see it at the end of the video. And the third puzzle is gonna be Euclid puzzle also designed by Dr. Volker, Volker Latusek. And the reason why I show it to you today is that I need your help to solve this puzzle. Uh, so please watch this video till the end to find out how you can help me to solve the puzzle. I've read this puzzle has two solutions. One is easy, another is more difficult. I want to find at least one in this video, so let's try to solve this puzzle. And probably I have to start my timer right here. And I can solve now. Okay, let's see what we have in here. There are one, two, three, four, five, six U-shaped parts. And there are six just regular parts. Okay, and I have to fit them all inside this box. I think it's not gonna be easy to put all these parts inside, so I'll try to do it outside the box. But first I have to find out how big is it. So if I grab these one, two, three, four, five, five parts, fit inside. So the cube's supposed to be five by five by five. Okay. And now I'll try to assemble these parts in a cube shape to fit inside in such a way that the lid will close all the way. Okay, so I'll start with U-shaped parts, maybe, maybe I have to do something like this, these two parts connected like this, two more parts will be connected like this, and we have like four by four by four, it's gonna be five, five on this side, and I have two more parts left, but the kind of big to fit in here. What if I remove this part and put this on top? It's gonna be five. And one more part left, which I can put somewhere in a different place. Okay, what if I try to remove this part from here, put this one in here, these two on top. And still I have these two parts 
that are not gonna fit in. Ah, I have one more part, okay. So that doesn't look like a solution. Okay, maybe I have to try something else. What if I put these parts like this, for example? It's gonna be again four by four. This goes on this side. It's gonna be five. Can put this on top. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five layers like this. So that's gonna be five layers. This goes in here. These two goes. Okay, that is interesting. Maybe I have to try to put all these parts inside the box. Okay. I hope I can do it without ruining the whole solution. No, I think that I already made something. No, oh, it's okay. So, and I have three more parts left, which I have to put inside. One, two, and the last one that I can't fit inside. If I cut it on two parts, I will be able to fit one part here and another in here, but I can't do it, so I have to find another way. What if I try to assemble these six parts and then put these parts? Okay, let's see what I can do. I tried something already. It was like this. Four, five, and six. And again, okay, maybe I can uh, assemble these U-shaped parts in such a way that there will be like five uh, parts wide or five parts tall. So let's see, uh, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, it's gonna be six. Five is gonna be like this. If I put it, for example, like this, it's gonna be four by four. Nothing, yeah, nothing changed. What if I try like this and this? It's gonna be five. Okay, looks like five. What's next I can do? I can put this in here. I can fit one of the parts like this. This goes right in here. And I can fit this part here. Okay, that looks pretty interesting. Yeah, but again, I have, I can put some more parts on one of the sides and it's gonna be like five by five but there is not enough space to fit one small part since there are a lot of space in here which i can't use so i have to find a way how to make a shape out of u-shaped parts so that all of them will be like on one of the sides okay let's try again Okay, let's see what I can do. What if I can do something like this and this will go in here. What I have like this, it's gonna be five by four. This goes right in here and this is gonna be five, still five by four. But again, there is gonna be a small gap in here, so it doesn't seem right. What I can do, probably I can't do anything. I can put like this, it's gonna be one, two, three. No, it is too big. Okay.
what if I try to so okay it's gonna be one two three four five this goes in here and there are two gaps again they're too big and I can't assemble anything later okay like this there are no gaps and if I add this one so for example like this feels pretty nice so far and what else I can put I can put this part in here this goes on top uh, no now I'm gonna have like a huge gap on the side and that's not very good okay it's only 11 minutes still have a chance to solve it today what if I, I tried something similar already maybe I have to do it somehow different okay if I put this part inside this goes in here it's gonna be one two three four five layers okay there is a huge gap on the bottom that is not right what else I can do how to put these parts yeah I think that I have to put this parts first since I can always put these parts somewhere on a side to fill the gaps but I have to find a way how to assemble all these six parts in a shape that there will be no gaps on the sides no not this one I tried something similar already that is not very good If I put two like this, it's gonna be too big. Five by five. Okay, this is gonna be five. If I add this one in here, and if I try to add the same on this side, oh no, it's gonna be too wide. It's gonna be six parts. Too many, okay. I'll try again so what if I grab these two it's one two three four five I, I can't put anything on this side so it's gonna be too big but I can put something here or on top if I put something here for example like this so this side is gonna be covered and I have to Put something here to fill all the gaps okay, it seems like one gap left but maybe one is okay I have two more parts and I have to fit them somehow if I put it like this I will be able to fit one of these parts in here and I can put probably this one on top and it's gonna be five by five and there is five this way okay that looks very interesting so now I can put one part in here one goes right in here another one here and wow i think i think i found, found a way how to assemble it okay let's put it all inside oh yeah puzzle is solved okay that was 15 minutes not not bad but actually i think that i was very lucky to solve it so quick I don't know which solution is it, if it's the easiest or the hardest solution, but still I, will, I, I was able to solve this puzzle. 
So that was the solution of guillotine puzzle. Uh, as you can see, it was not so difficult to find solution, at least for me. Uh, I've read some reviews uh, where people were saying that uh, it took them a few hours, but some other people said that they've been able to solve it in just 10-15 minutes. So uh, sometimes um, if you're lucky enough, you can solve it quick and sometimes you may spend a lot of time trying to find solution. But I think it is not uh, so difficult uh, since there are only two types of parts and uh, there are a lot of possibilities how you can put these parts inside the cube but still uh, there is some logic which uh, can help you to uh, solve this puzzle and now uh, the third puzzle that i promised at the beginning of this video is euclid puzzle also designed by dr volker latusek i am trying to solve this puzzle for at least three or four days and i don't know how to put all these seven parts inside the cube. Uh, the issue is that this cube is not fully opened, there are two lips on the side and uh, I have to find a way which part uh, goes first and which part goes last. So if you have any hint or you have this puzzle and you solved it already, uh, please uh, write in a comment. Uh, don't, don't write the whole solution. I don't uh, need all th uh, to see the solution. I want just small hints, maybe one or two hints that can help me to find solution by myself. So that was all for today. If you like one of these puzzles and you want to buy them, uh, links are going to be in the description. And uh, if you like this video, uh, hit like, don't forget to subscribe and push the bell button to, notify, to be notified every time I upload new video. See you next time.